get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. My name is Maureen Koich. I am an actress. Musician. And a creative entrepreneur. My art is my life and my movement to help make the world a better place for you and I. I'm not loud, yet a proud artist. I still have my fair share of life, dreaming and hustle to do. So welcome to my world with just you, me and my camera. Let's move and groove as we keep it real. This is how we d this is how I do. Yeah, love. I love, I love what I do, so, yeah. <laughs> yes, let's see what this place has in store for us. More? Has, in, has, mo has more in store for us. Hi. Hey, I'm going to Kizungu, Kizungu Mkuti. Kizungu Mkuti ilikuja kwa meli si ndege sawa. So sawa, yo. Out here, um, animals like to hide, yo. So, like, I have to go through so much trouble to find them. There you go. I think that's like the closest I've gotten so far to an animal. I hope y'all are seeing that. It's a beautiful, beautiful giraffe. There she is, or he. <laughs> so, this place is kind of like a maze has like a maze type design so it's like you have to like walk through different places <laughs> or overcome certain challenges oh my goodness oh, that's a lion you people there is a lion here like a live one oh my goodness <gasps> oh my goodness a lion that thing is huge <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, I can see a male one. That's a female. Let me show you guys a female one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is this is getting scary, yo. This is like the fear I earlier talked about. I'm not fear I'm not fearful at the crocs place. Yeah, now is another story altogether. This is uh, yeah, this is not funny. Okay, I really hope this glass yeah, this looks like thick glass the kind of glass you see in banks yeah that's good that's good very very good oh my goodness how is this i kid you not this is i am two meters away from a lion i can't believe it i seriously can't believe this i am two meters two meters people one you see here's me do you mean me yeah Here's me. And there's the lion. Like what? Oh my goodness. All right, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. <sighs> Whew. Okay, that was the... Um... Right? Look at that. Look at that. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He is so beautiful or handsome or whatever. Oh my goodness, uh, he's looking at me like he wants to eat me. Yo, oh my goodness. As in me, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm below odds right now. I, I have never been this close to a lion ever in my life. 
there's just a glass a thick glass separating us Yup, that just happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It just happened. There was just, I cannot get over this. Me, two meters away from a lion, right? The only thing separating us is high density glass. I am still in awe. <laughs> Positively surprised, impressed, all the adjectives you can ever, positive, uh, impressive, worthy uh, adjectives you can ever think about. Yeah, because that was so awesome. That was just too awesome, too awesome too awesome only in Kenya only in Kenya <laughs> can you have that kind of experience yo as in it's just oof I'm, my mind is poof, 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 blown yep positively in a good way so yeah I mean when I look when I think about that I, I'm just like yeah courage courage it, it I had to mass, muster up some courage to even get into to get that close to the lion because you know of course first of all even before i got near the glass i just had to hope that the people who put up this place took into account that a lion is one five times at least bigger than i am second at least uh tw 10 20 50 times more stronger than i am so yeah i had to trust that the place has been set up in a way to accommodate <laughs> our combined pre combined presence or each other's presence so yeah man as in it took courage i was honestly scared i was honest i i what i was scared i was honestly scared being in that what i was two meters away from a lion y'all <laughs> yeah that was so cool oh my goodness so there's so many ways that courage plays out even in my profession is for instance you know you have to actually be courageous and f first and foremost to 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 uh, to um to go f uh, to go for your dreams to live your dreams to follow your dreams it takes courage because this space the artistic space and i know in so many other spaces but for me this space has so many challenges, y'all, as in so, both positive challenges and negative, you know, things that shake you to the core. I have ever questioned, you know, I have ever questioned whether this was the correct path for me to take. I have been there, Maze, I've been there. It's not an easy space, uh, always, you know, I've just rhymed. Nime rhyme. It's not an easy space, always. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and you have to be courageous the same way i was courageous to actually approach the glass back there knowing there was oh my goodness i'm still mind blown by the way what uh yeah it takes courage for you to follow your dreams so master up the courage and do do it go for it don't wait for people to tell you yeah i think maybe you'll make it no if anything, get in there when people feel what did right now is the worst time, you know? Um, of course, weigh your, weigh your risks. I mean, if, if you're a high risk, high reward type of person, go for it, by the way, go for it. I, I'm not here to tell you, I'm not here trying to tell you how to, you know, how you should, what kind of risks you should take and what you shouldn't. But I mean, take risks in life, some risks, big risks, small risks, just risk it <laughs> however you can, yeah. So yeah, I'm so inspired, my goodness. I am so inspired. I feel so, oh, I can't wait to get home and like show 
uh, show off this these videos and pictures. Oh my goodness, that was so cool, y'all. So cool. <gasps> We're back here with the ostriches. Ostrich zebra. There they are. Yeah, they were a bit far off earlier, but now we are up close. So yeah, let's see what we can take. Um, I mean, I, I, I have a mixed emotions right now. Because I'm thinking... I really wish there was someone I could ask, someone who knows what or why uh, this animal is doing this. But she's just, or he, they. They're just going like round, round and round in a circle, round and round. So, I mean, beautiful, definitely, but I'm just like... <sighs> I don't know. Might there be another way to... explore... I don't know... tourism or... You know, just this whole um, animals being locked in a cage thing. I feel like this, it has something to do with, I don't know, the reason why this animal, the, the, the rhino is going round and round. And, like, I feel like she or he is stressed or something. Just look at that. Anyway, I mean, I really wish and hope that Maybe there's some kind of cycle. Maybe later on the rhino will be released into like the wild or something just to help it get back into its normal self. Oh, man, I really feel so bad for, for her or him. I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe how oh, this... For sure, I would, I would say that... Um, the... As an artist, I want to inspire change and I want to help make a change in whatever way, shape of, or form, um, however that might be. So even as you practice, as you become what you want to become, make sure that you, you're doing it for an ultimate cause. I mean, it's good to do it for happiness, pleasure, love, and all these things that I've mentioned. But let there be an even deeper reason, meaning for your art. Give it a cause. I know for sure there's many artists who do, um, who, you know, um, champion rights, the rights of, of, uh, of animals. I love animals, by the way. I love animals. I honestly really, really do. So identify your cause, identify your reason. Why do you do what you do? You know, you, you can't just be doing it for money and fame. Those are the sweets, yeah, the, the good stuff, the sweet stuff that comes um, for, you know, because this is a job. This is a job. It's not, it's not just a passion. It's a passion, yes. It's a job. You're supposed to be able to feed yourself. You're supposed to be able to, in the long term, in the short and long term, actually. Um, so, you know, be strategic about how you do what you do also. So, yeah, and find a cause. Find a cause. I mean, fight for the rights of animals. I don't know. I mean, I, I just feel like there's a, there should be a better way to handle even if uh, you know we have guests and tourists coming from all over wanting to see the lions i mean i've had an awesome pleasurable experience here but i mean i've it should be two way you know it should be two way the animals should be comfortable i feel i really hope i mean i am not saying i'm not trying to say anything you know i'm just it's i'm really just thinking out aloud so i can't truly say if uh, the rhino is stressed but i don't know it just seems really I don't know, or maybe exercising, maybe it's a, a form of exercise, so maybe like he gives, or he or she gives himself or herself or themselves like a, a an exercising routine, so you know, just to go round and round like that, you know, because this is a very, it's a fairly small enclosure, you know? You know, it's not that big. It's a fairly small enclosure, so I mean, maybe the rhino needs to exercise. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you know, find your cause. Find your cause, find your reason for doing what you do. I, I have my cause. I'm still trying to find my cause. Um, I have found, I, I, in some ways I've found my cause. 
but it's it's a never ending journey you know you might never really get to it the first two, two months three years sometimes it can take a decade or two you never know but find the ultimate reason for doing what you do find a cause champion for rights for people animals in whatever way in whatever in, you know it could be fem female empowerment it could be um you know animals like this it could be um rights certain rights rights to life rights to vote rights to social rights economic rights political rights i mean it's it's the list is endless by the way the list is endless i know for sure i love i would love to get deeper into championing for um the cause for the elderly i i am very passionate about women um women empowerment the elderly and their well-being uh, so chungeni wazazi ukimek maze ukiomoka chunga mzazi maze ukiomoka chunga mzazi usiache mzazi alanguish you know uko ushago in poverty nini nini so yeah i mean i'm still trying to structure it structure my cause and yeah and and grow it and and really feel it you know and do it the way it should be done so yeah all right my day is almost done guys we're almost out of here i had so much fun oh my goodness this is so dope hi hello oh my goodness that was so violent like no don't be violent like that hi ostriches hi ostrich oh my goodness i have a fear of ostriches by the way i heard they can poke your eye if you're not careful <laughs> don't be violent i'm a nice person <laughs> hi mr zebra oh my goodness i've seen an, a, a hyena mm -hmm. Yo, I have seen a hyena, yo. And I didn't see a fence. I promise you I didn't see a fence. Oh my goodness, I had a scare of my life. Turns out there's actually a fence. I didn't see it. Oh my goodness. I actually thought they were in open space. <gasps> What? But that looks so scary. Aki hyenas are not to be messed with, you guys. You know the lion was in an enclosure in like a glass. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even. I can't even. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to stay there and wait for that hyena to jump on. Oh my goodness. That was a scare of my life. I kid you not. I f You know when I saw it running back there, I tried to see whether there was an enclosure. I was like, "No, wait, wait a minute. There's no enclosure." Oh my goodness. But it turns out I couldn't see it. I couldn't see the um the fence, but there's a fence. Now me I'm I was looking at you know through the trees and i'm seeing something that looks first of all i saw it pass and i'm like that looks like a sheep or something but yo but it was not sheep i looked closely i'm seeing no this could not this cannot be right this cannot be real it's a hyena oh my goodness we locked eyes what so i tried once i saw It was a hyena. I tried to find like my way back, but I couldn't cuz I don't know. I couldn't just I just I don't know where I came from. Or maybe I passed there I never and I never really saw it maybe. It could I don't know, man. I can but I couldn't find my way out from, you know, the other place. So I had to pass through the path like next to it. Pretty much where I was going, I had to go but turn back and go with that Barabara, mutaratara, goodness, what? 
again, I had to face my fear. I had to face my fear. I watched this, these um, shows on, on TV, National Geographic and all these animal shows, Maze, and you do not want to be, you don't want to be attacked by a hyena. You, you can be attacked by a li monkey, lion, maybe, uh, but a hyena attack is goodness. Just the thought of it. <sighs> Yo, but it's like, first of all, it's like way beyond, uh, yeah, I need to be out of here, so. Yeah, I honestly, I did, I had a fantastic time. That was a bit of a scare, but it's just me. My mind playing, my mind playing tricks on me. I kid you not, I was not acting. I can not see your performance, my own apple. See your performance, that was so real. I was so scared. I knew my day is here today. Stories of the news. God. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for delivering me from this uh, scary experience. I pray for your strength even as I go. Oh my goodness, okay. This was so awesome. I would advise next time, come with someone. Come with someone, you're better off too. Cause you just, you know, in this world, you never know. I mean, the place looks like really well taken care of and um, everything has been sealed properly, I feel. Even when I later on saw the fence, I, you know, it looks like a strong and... What? Yeah. That was my day. That was my day. Let's go home. <laughs> I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. Thank you so much for this experience. But let me go home, please. <laughs> what a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. I had so much fun. I honestly, I really did. <laughs> that last, the last, should I say 10 minutes of it, the, the one of the most scariest, moments of my entire life i have never i don't know if i've ever been that scared honestly actually i i oh, that was scary and you know what last time we didn't we didn't we didn't go to that stretch so you see if if of course if, if it's something I, I had known previously of course i would have approached the space or the place knowing ah you know there's there's a fence so why should i worry I, we didn't get there, we didn't pass there last time. Even the lions, I didn't pass, we didn't pass them last time, you know. Some of these places you, you, you notice or you discover when you really, really get deep. But if you just go up or juju, you miss out on a lot. So I think today I really got deep just because I, I felt I had the patience, the time, you know, I was alone, so I would just walk anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, I actually did not know. I, did, I didn't find out last time, so today it was, I was, seeing the hyenas for the first time the lions for the first time so the the hyenas fence is such is, in, is has been made in such a way that it's it's sort of uh, it's sort of low right the main place where they like stand and walk and everything is a bit high and then towards the fence it's gone down because i think either they cannot jump high and also, of course, the fact that it's a wire, there's like a barbed wire can be around it. But I didn't see, because you know, the, 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 the ground, their main ground is high, right? The fence is actually chini and it's been dug like nicely. So for them to get to the fence, they even have to go chini fast. I don't know, you, you, I'm sure you, yeah, like you can see right now. Um, so me, when I was looking at them from afar off, me, I'm seeing them on like open ground i'm not seeing a fence because the fence is is it's low i couldn't see it so me i'm looking i'm seeing <laughs> you people <laughs> i'm seeing a hyena eye to eye eye to eye with a hyena me i'm just like this is i'm i am dreaming this cannot be real i am in a movie yeah like like a like a fiction type thing you know something that's not real you guy what ah the feeling the feeling the feeling i i have never gotten such a feel that scared of mami mami uko api nilikuwa hapo nilikuwa hapo naanza kuna feel nataka ku scream i actually wanted to see if i could if because the 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 ostrich enclosure was just up with karibu the ostrich place and the zebra and everything i was like by the kikiumana na panda hiyo samo na naingia hapo ifo ndani ya ostrich na nani na na zebra na ikioki whatever what was it called i can't remember what the name what the name of that animal <laughs> me was just like by the kikiumana niona hiyo samo inaanza kunikimbisha na panda na panda hiyo samo i'd rather niende nipambane na ostrich na zebra 
kuliko ni pamba nianze kukulwa kulu hapo na masdana nini kadho oi <laughs> mungu ni mkuu thank you jesus god is so good but yo man i mean at the end of the day it's, it, it's, it was all in my head again it was all in my head because of course the whole place has been well protected and everything it was just in my head it was in my head uh but of course at the end of the day i lived it i lived it and this is how i feel because wow but yo man that it's a it's an awesome place as in if your guys if y'all can go go tomorrow go tomorrow and see all these animals only in africa only in kenya you guys in fact only in kenya i mean this you can count the countries where you can find you know game and as much as those ones are locked up and everything you know of course there's like bigger national reserves out there you know nairobi national savo amboseli and you know so many I had an awesome time yo. Tuone mtaratara vile na ka. Traffic ndio naingia yote, yote traffic yote tunayotumepatana Nairobians kuna mkutano kwa barabara. Sawa sawa? Yes. Eh kuna mkutano kwa barabara so let me join in. <laughs> Peace out.